Dear viewers, Namaskar. Welcome to this edition of the News Bulletin. In the headlines today, Nishche, a safety initiative by RSP, advances with targeted training for greater impact. Pre-retirement employee empowerment workshop, Roshni, held at Sale RSP and Sale Raukila Steel Plant begins massive plantation drive with the onset of monsoon. Now the news in detail. Nishche, the safety initiative of Sale Raukila Steel Plant, continues to make strides with tailored training sessions designed to enhance employee proficiency across various roles and departments. This initiative reaffirms RSP's commitment to fostering a culture of safety and competence. In June, over 954 employees benefited from the 25 specialized sessions held at the LND Center. These sessions covered a wide range of critical topics, including working at heights, confined spaces, road safety, safety audits, permit to work protocols, material handling, electrical safety, energy isolation and behavioral interventions that are vital for workplace safety and efficiency. The sessions are being conducted by the members of the CNCD subcommittee members comprising a diverse team of 18 individuals chaired by Ms. Rashi Banerjee and co-chaired by Mr. Sudip Pal Chaudhary. A pre-retirement employee empowerment workshop Roshni was held at CPTI Center of Sale Raukela Steel Plant on 8 June 2024. 41 employees including executives of the plant and Odisha Group of Mines who will be superannuating in the month of June 2024 attended the session. Mr. Dhirendra Mishra, GM in charge, HR Works, presided over the inaugural session. Also present on the dais was Mr. G. R. Das, GM, E. R. W. C. T. and M. The sessions at Roshni encompassed a wide spectrum of topics crucial for a smooth retirement transition. Dr. Sivalkar addressed health-related concerns and strategies for a healthier post-retirement life in the following session. Matters related to cyber security issues were discussed by Mr. V.P. Arya, DGM, C and IT, where advantages of internet in digital era was explained and insights were provided into the world of cyber threats and security for helping the participants to safeguard their digital presence. In the session on finance, Mr. D.K. Das, Deputy Manager, Finance and Accounts dealt with procedures for smooth final settlement and effective finance management for ensuring stability in the later phase. Mr. Papu Kumar, AGM Finance and Accounts, talked about the financial security planning to cope with the significant transition phase and lead a purposeful and proactive life. Mr. Babula Nahak, AGM CP2, deliberated on positive mindset preparation. Mr. H.K. Sahu, Assistant Manager, Town Services, discussed about the details of quarter vacation and retention policies within the organization. Ms. Jyoti Oraya, Senior Manager, Personal, welcomed the participants while Mr. K. Panda, Labor Inspector, coordinated the function. The aim of the Roshni workshop is to prepare the retiring employees in a comprehensive manner to embrace retirement with positivity, enthusiasm and preparedness. Sale Raukila Steel Pen has started massive plantation drive with the onset of monsoon across the steel city as well as inside the plant. The campaign was formally kicked off in the plantation program organized to mark one Mahotsav on 5th July 2024 at Ispat Aranya Udhyan Sector 20. Mr. Atanu Bhomik, director in charge RSP, led the campaign in which senior officers of the plant and more than 300 school children planted around 2,000 saplings at the 3.5 acre land. Notably, the vast cover of greenery that makes Raukela a verdant paradise is the concerted efforts of the horticulture department of RSP with the active support from the students, employees and local populace at large. It is worth mentioning here that so far RSP has planted around 52 lakh trees in and around Rorkela, thereby creating a girdle of green in this region. In the current year, the steel plant has plans to undertake massive plantations at different locations of the steel plant as well as the steel township to expand and intensify the canopy of green. And with this, we come to the end of this news bulletin. Namaskar.